No beef. No beef. I'm Matt Hunter, and you're watching Sound Off with Sound Exchange. I think that definitely did influence my career and, and, and my fan base a lot, especially being because I was so young in a recording studio, like at 10, 11 years old, I was, I was in a, a professional recording studio being directed by all these people watching a cartoon on a screen. It was like, it was really, it opened my mind a lot and it made me want more and it made me want to do more. I mean, it was, it was crazy growing up in the music industry, in the entertainment industry. I mean, I, I was homeschooled for all of, middle school and all of high school so I wasn't really I didn't really have the interaction with other kids my age I can't say I would ever ask for anything different I learned so much and I got to go to so many great places I got to go on tour all over South America and meet fans that love my music and perform music and and really do what I love I was supposed to actually sign with Mark Anthony um, but I was making music with his nephew who's like a really awesome producer and that's like my big brother like my mentor so like I was saying I was supposed to sign with Mark but then his nephew offered me a different deal through Universal and I ended up going with with him because that's where my heart was so a lot of people were like how would you ever turn down Mark Anthony but to be honest I didn't see it as turning down Mark Anthony I saw it as doing the decision that was best for me in my career and I feel like you always have to put yourself first and not and not let other people's um, opinions influence your decision too much because at the end of the day you have to follow your heart and your heart's not going to steer you wrong. I think it's great like you know I've used social media as a tool in my career since the beginning it's, it's basically a way that a platform that you could talk to your fans on a really personal level and I love that. Uh, I feel like like 10 years ago we didn't have stuff like this now we have a bigger advantage so we have to us the youth we need to take advantage of that and really you could do whatever you want you know in life. I always say that, like, you have to do what you love. If you don't, then, then what are you doing if you're not doing what you love? Well, I could definitely say that it's been made with, like, my friends and with, like, people that I consider family. Like, this first song I wrote with one of my best friends, Jay Cortez, who's really killing it right now. Um, and, I, you know, I met him five years ago, and we just became, like, best friends. And it's just it's really cool to work with people like that. That it's like not like just like work relationship, but it's like, yo, like we go in the studio and it's just like we're vibing, we're not working. It never feels like work. And that's why I love music because it's never, I never felt like I've been worked a day in my life because I just, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. 